Hello and welcome. Today, after a lot of time, I have decided to switch uh, from control system to circuit theory. But uh, before I go into that more into more details uh, inside uh, our uh, problem, first of all, this is our uh, last day uh, of this year. So happy new year to all of you. Okay, so just uh, uh, for the sake of clarity, uh, I have chosen this type of mathematical problem over here. So you can see that uh, this one is my closed path. But here, uh, the crossing of resistance or cross of resistance is been applied over here. So uh, this one is applied uh, to make a lot of confusion over here. So you can uh, go in this direction. You can go in this direction and that is the end. So this one is the starting point and this one is the end point. And you can go in the opposite direction also. So from this starting point, you can go like this one. Okay. Okay. So if I do consider this total path, so what is the resistance? Total resistance for this path. So here, this one I like to I like to write over here. So the R say the parallel. The R parallel is say if I follow the red line, red line path over here. So what is the total resistance across this line? Uh, it is uh, very very easy because uh, across the red line. So first comes three ohm. So three, and the next one is one ohm plus one, and uh, the last portion is last resistance is 5 so the total resistance is 9 ohm and if I follow the opposite path the uh, blue line okay you have to get or you will get the same value of resistance over here also okay so uh, if you follow the blue line then what is the resistance for that value? The resistance will be the same resistance will happen, but I will show you over here. So for this path, this one is 5, this one is 1 for this and the last resistance will be 3. So the same resistance is 9 ohm. Okay, so instead of writing this circuit diagram or instead of drawing this circuit diagram over here, I want to draw the equivalent circuit uh, along with this over here. So I just like to draw the equivalent circuit from this circuit diagram. Okay. So the uh, resistance for this path or equivalent resistance for this path is our equivalent which is 9 ohm. 9 ohm. And I will erase this upper portion to draw the particular equivalent circuit for this circuit diagram. Okay. So what is the circuit looks like? Here I have 10 volt. This one is my 2 ohm resistor. And in the downside the 5 ohm resistor is been placed over here and the polarity of this resistance is look like this one okay and across this we need to find out the value of V0 which is our main objective of this problem okay and the equivalent resistance for this cross path is what the 9 ohm okay and we need to find out the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so as you can see that the 9 ohm and 5 ohm are placed in parallel. So what is the equivalent resistance for these two resistance? Okay, so for these two re resistance, the equivalent resistance will be the equivalent resistance are equivalent for this path will be 5 parallel 9 
so pi parallel line so what is the formula for that pi multiplied with 9 divided by 5 plus 9 9 plus 5 means 14 sorry 45 because of multiplication and in the downside this is 14 and by using the uh, calculator scientific calculator over here I want to show you the resistance value for that so 45 divided by 14 which actually gives us the exact value which is 3.214 so this one is 3.214 okay so instead of writing these two resistance I can write uh, the resistance over here or I can draw the equivalent circuit over here which is look like this one so this one is my 10 volt this one is 2 ohm and in the downside the resistance which is equivalent resistance which is nothing but parallel of this line which is 3.214 ohm over here okay so uh, for your own convenience I want to repeat the same procedure over here first I need to find out this path resistance which I have got the 9 ohm over here and this 9 ohm is placed uh, parallel with 5 ohm resistor that I am showing over here and after this parallel path uh, after uh, solving this parallel resistance I have got the equivalent resistance which is 3.214 ohm okay and our ultimate objective is to find out the voltage V0 over here okay so I will give you two minutes to note down up to this one and after that I will do the rest of the uh, problem over here so if you have still if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below do subscribe my cha uh, channel hit the bell icon for more updates and please uh, do share uh, these videos and spread these videos towards our longer community so stay tuned with our channel and uh, the waiting time is starting from now on okay So I will erase the left hand circuit over here because I have my new circuit diagram which is being shown over here. Okay, so I will erase uh, this uh, left hand side circuit over here. And what is the volt? Uh, so here you can see from the picture that here the voltage across that particular resistance is V0. So here the voltage is our video that is given in our mathematical problem okay so if I apply the if I apply the KVL inside this loop what is the solution for that say a particular current uh, say I1 is flown inside this closed loop so what is the solution for that the solution is plus and minus and minus 10 volt this one is plus minus minus 2 i1 minus a plus a sorry here the polarity is opposite here this one is plus this one is minus so uh, this one is plus and this one is minus okay so what is the solution for that plus and minus and minus 10 volt minus 2 i1 minus V0 is equal to 0 okay and uh, the final equation for this one is V0 plus 2 I1 plus 10 is equal to 0 okay 
and across this resistance if i apply uh, uh, the voltage drop across this v0 so what is the solution uh, that method is very very simple here a current is been flown over here so i1 so this one should be the polarity of the resistance should be this one is uh, for the right hand side this is plus this one is minus so here 3 plus or minus or minus 3.214 i1 so you can start from this red line so red line here so the current is been flown from this side to this side so here the polarity of the resistance is plus minus so because of this uh, because of the sign convention we have uh, this one is the voltage drop across this resistance is uh, I into R so this into I1 and because of the plus minus uh, sign notification I have taken that this one is minus okay so plus or minus or minus 3.214 I1 minus or plus a plus V0 which is, is equal to 0 okay and the V0 is our 3.214 i1 okay so just uh, put this value of v0 over here and you will ultimately got the value of i1 okay so put the value of v0 over here so 3.214 i1 plus 2 i1 which is minus 10 okay so i will erase this uh, lower portion so what is the solution for that here i have got 5.214 i1 which is minus 10 or i1 means minus 10 divided by 5.214 amps what is the solution for that i uh, by using the same procedure by using the same scientific calculator uh, i like to find out the current value over here so 214 which is give us 1.917 amps okay so minus 1.917 amp so what is the value of v0 for this particular problem just put the value of i1 over here and you have ultimately got the value of V0 which is 3.124 into minus 1.917 which is nothing but our final expression so 1.917 multiplied with 3.214 which actually gives us the voltage V0 is 6.164 minus 6. 164 volt so this is my final uh, solution for the v0 hope you have understood the total procedure on how do i solve this problem and i want to repeat this procedure once again uh, from the beginning as uh, just uh, follow this line as a single line of resistance and three resistance are placed in series okay that is why 5 plus 1 plus 3 which is which actually gives us the total resistance value for this particular one line path uh, the value of that resistance is 9 ohm and 9 ohm is placed uh, in parallel with the 5 ohm so that actually gives us the value of equivalent resistance of value of 9 parallel 5 which actually gives us the uh, resistance value 3.214 and here in this closed loop I have applied the KVL uh, inside this loop. So after applying KVL, so after apply KVL over uh, in this closed path, apply KVL, I have got uh, this is my equation. Okay. And the next one is very simple. What is the exact voltage drop across this resistance? I need to find out that. So in order to find out uh, that equation, I have got uh, that V0 is equal to this one. So this is the voltage drop across this resistance over here and just put the value of V0 in, in my KVL equation. 
After that, uh, I will get the value of I1 and finally put the value of I1 in the B0 final equation. And after that, I will successfully get the value of V0, which is my desired uh, solution for this mathematical problem. Hope you have understood all the procedure of this mathematical procedure. And if you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Please do subscribe my channel because I need your support. And uh, I think uh, um, this type of mathematical problem are altogether missing on YouTube platform. And uh, that's it uh, for this mathematical problem. Students are always doubtful while finding out the value of V0. How do I get the value of V0 over here? So I will show you uh, by separately drawing this portion of the diagram over here. So I will erase this uh, portion. Okay. So this part is separately drawn by me. Okay, so here the resistance of 3.214 ohm is been present over here. And across this uh, resistance, I have got the voltage which is polarity, whose polarity looks like this one. And here the current I1 is flown across this resistance I1. Okay, so how do I get the equation of V0 over here. So I will show over here. So what is the uh, solution for this type of? Here, if you apply the KVL, you have got this equation. So that is a separate issue from here. But how do you get the V0 uh, from only across this resistance? Okay, so I will show you, show you that over here. So here the current is I1. So the resistance value is 3.124. So this one is plus, this one is minus. So what is the sign convention uh, for that? If you don't know about the sign convention, sign convention, please check me, uh, check my previous videos uh, for KVL KCL equation. So I will show you over the exact equation uh, or exact expression for the V0. So plus or minus a minus 3.214 I1 as the Voltage drop across the resistance, the value is I into R. That is why plus or minus a as the current is flown in this direction over here. So plus or minus a minus 3.214 I1. Okay. And here in the feedback path, here so current is flown in this direction and the voltage across this is this one. So the voltage is fed back from this from this path to this path. So across this path, the voltage V0 has been present over here. So plus or minus a minus 3.214 for this blue line and for the green line, the voltage drop across this minus a plus a plus V0, which is actually is equal to zero. So from this formula, you have got the voltage, which is V0 is equal to 3.214 I1. Okay. So by using this procedure, I have got the value of V0, which is nothing but 3.214 I1. I, I want to repeat this portion once again. And if the current is flown in this direction, so plus or minus or minus 3.214 I1. And uh, so uh, this blue line is for uh, our uh, blue portion of the voltage drop across the resistance. And the green line is for uh, this uh, green portion, which is nothing but a voltage drop across this resistance, which is minus a plus a plus P0, which is zero. And after simplifying this above equation, I have got this as V0 is equal to 3.14 I1.